male witness who claims he was a victim of R. Kelly. Fox 5's Lisa Evers was inside the courtroom and joins us now with today's developments. Lisa. Well, Steve, we heard some shocking testimony this this morning and actually all throughout the day in the federal racketeering trial of R. Kelly, this time from a man who claims he was just 17 and working at a McDonald's drive through when he met Kelly. He says Kelly came through in an expensive foreign car and gave him his telephone number. Now, the accuser using the alias Lewis says Kelly promised to help him with his aspiring rap career, luring him to a sprawling estate to record a demo. Instead, Lewis claims Kelly asked him how he would, how far he would go in order to have a music career and whether he'd ever fantasized about sex with men. Lewis says Kelly then knelt down and performed a sex act with him. Lewis testified on another occasion he was with Kelly in a detached garage with a boxing gym inside. Kelly snapped his fingers three times and a naked woman came out from under the boxing ring and performed a sex act with him while the R&B singer allegedly watched. Still in his senior year in high school, as all this happened, Lewis says Kelly used a camcorder or iPad to record the incidents while the pattern of what he says is similar to other accusers. He's not part of the complaint and was initially identified as John Doe number one. This former prosecutor explains. Regards to his testimony, because there are no charges regarding John Doe number one. However, the prosecutor is using his experiences to try to corroborate the other Jane Doe experience and say that they are similar in terms of modus operandi, in terms of motive.